Hello, my name is Stephen Carr, and I'd like to welcome you to another AutoCAD cooking class. Uh, in this session, we're going to try to create our uh, our hanging dish lamp. So, uh, if you in your uh, handout, you'll know that we're starting by creating a 39 by 26 rectangle. So I'll just click on rectangle and zero comma zero and 39 comma 26 kind of weird size uh, but it's not really a big deal um, so go over here so I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to copy it up ortho on f8 and we need to copy it up six inches so I've gone in front, I copied it up in my front view and in my front view what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create an arc across here. We know that an arc is a 2D command so um, it's a little bit interesting construction. So I'm just going to start by just drawing an arc in here. So just arc, end point, midpoint, end point. Then I'm going to flip from my front view to my right view. And again, I'm going to do an arc, and hopefully this is my end, midpoint, end, and uh, if I go into here, just have a look at what we've got. So the one is here, one is here, so this is good. So I'm just going to copy this from this end here to here, and copy this one from this end here to here. So this just gives me my basic shape that I'm working with. I'm just going to um, erase my construction lines here. So this is the basic shape. Um, in the top view, you can't tell any difference. In the front view, it looks a little bit weird, but you can see it better here. So we're going to be using a command that's a little bit um, unknown in... Uh, AutoCAD, it's, it's been here a long, long time, but they don't show it anymore. It's called um, Edge Surf, and it's controlled by, uh, if you just do Edge Surf by itself, Edge Surf, it just allows you to select your objects as you go around here like this. Okay, so this is a little bit crude. Um, I'll just put that into wireframe. You see that it's got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Why one, two, three, four, five, six? So this is a little bit on the crude side. So I'm just going to erase that. This is uh, what sets the number of sections is a, a surf tab a setting called surf tab one. So if I'll type surf tab one. And it has six. I'm just going to change this to 20. And we have a surf tab two. Change this to 20. And then we do our edge surf again. And make sure you click on the edge. Don't click in the middle. Make sure you go in the same direction. And so this is a little bit nicer now. So this is definitely, um, I like that the construction's way, way better here. So I'm going to just go into my top view here and I'm going to move this. I want to be able to hang this from the center. So I'm just going to move this. So I've got five objects. So I still have construction lines here. And I'm just going to go M2P from here and here and make that a zero comma zero all right so that's good so that means that uh, I'm in good position um, I did create layers here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, select this part here and put this on my shade and I think I still have some align here which I'm going to Erase, align here, a 
Okay, so I just tried to find a few things that I could work with here to get rid of this. Um, I'm going to create a um, my fitting for this where we hang it from. So I'm just going to draw a circle from zero comma zero, and it's a um, two inch radius. Now if I go in there, I can see it here, or I can see it here. So I can extrude this. And I want to extrude this by a half inch, 0.5. And this I want to put on to my hardware layer. All right, so that's good. And just change this back to realistic so we can see what the difference is. So everything's going pretty good here. Um, I'm just going to right around this point here. I'm just going to draw a circle here, and I'm going to turn my ortho or my O snaps off. So I'm just going to try to find a spot just approximately right here. Actually, I could actually turn turn it on. I think if I connect it to here, that's all right. So I'm going to create a post here, and it's going to be quarter inch radius, 0.25. And uh, then I need to extrude this. And the handout says 18 inches. I'm just going to maybe make it 24. Extrude this. Say 24. And you can see the front view, how it's how it's straight up and down. So now in the front view, what I want to do is I want to rotate it. So just do a 2D rotate. This 3D rotate is maybe a little bit, uh, we don't really need to do that here. We can just click on that and do the center. And then um, just turn off my, turn off my O snap and I'm just going to rotate it here. So I'm trying to do two things. One, I want to get it to be basically at this position here. <coughs> and then I go into the top and I want to rotate it from the center again. And I want to rotate it so that it's pointing towards the center. Oops, I think I, all right, so I'll come back to this view here and I have to rotate it lower, gain rotate. So it's a little bit of guessing. Going to the top view, rotate. Going to the front view and rotate. I am trying to use the center point here. We've almost got it, I think.
That's that's close enough. That's really good. <laughs> so I want to put this on. I so saw my hardware layer. That's good. This is also on my hardware layer. That's good. Okay, so from here, all I really need to do now is I'm just going to mirror this from 0, 0 with my ortho on and then mirror it the other way from 0, 0. And I'll just go back into here. I'm just going to move this up a little bit. And then I need to move move this up six inches. And I'm just going to move this up a little bit as well. It just seems like it's sticking out a bit. That's better. Now, the only one, one other thing I'd like to do here is in my layer, um, I'm going to, uh, I need a def points. I want a def points layer because I'm going to add my light fixture. So to do that, I'm just going to uh, just do a quick dimension here. And <coughs> I'm just going to draw a line from the center of here. And I'll just draw this down 12 inches. Put this on my def point layer. And what I'll do is I'll add a light on the end of this point. So um, this pretty well ends my construction here. Just click on orbit so I can just see everything. So I'm going to put my light on the end of here. It makes it easy to when I'm installing it. So I'll save my file and we'll see you in the next session.